Hello friends, welcome to my channel. How are you? I hope everything is going well. I would like to share a topic that caught my attention with you today. Have you ever noticed the labels of the food products you buy, such as natural flavor or nature identical flavor? What do you think is the difference between them? Natural flavor is produced with components obtained naturally from plants, fruits, or other natural sources. Chemical processing, or synthesis, is generally not done in the production of these flavors. In other words, the raw materials generally come from natural sources. For example, natural flavor can be obtained from fruit juice or plant extract, and this is indicated as natural flavor on the product label. But what about nature identical flavor? It means that the same components are synthesized in the laboratory conditions rather than being obtained from natural sources. For example, a nature identical aroma can be created by synthesizing the characteristic components of a fruit in the laboratory. This is indicated as nature identical flavor on the product label. And don't forget about artificial flavor. Artificial flavor is entirely composed of chemical compounds synthesized in laboratory conditions. These components are not obtained from natural sources, but are synthesized in laboratory conditions. Let's take a closer look at how an aroma is produced, shall we? One of the examples of nature-identical aroma is vanilla extract. Vanilla extract is an aroma produced by synthesizing natural components obtained from real vanilla beans. In the first step, Real vanilla beans are collected and ground. These beans contain the components that give vanilla its characteristic taste and aroma. The ground vanilla beans are then soaked in a suitable solvent. These solvents are generally alcohol, MPG, or glycerin. This soaking process allows the components of vanilla extract to pass into the solvent. The vanilla and solvent mixture is then filtered or strained. The obtained vanilla extract is then heated at a certain temperature to evaporate the solvent. This process concentrates the vanilla extract and separates it from the solvent. In this way, a more intense and concentrated vanilla aroma is obtained. The obtained synthetic components are mixed with those obtained from natural sources and a nature identical vanilla aroma is obtained. This mixture is then subjected to stabilization and a vanilla extract of the desired quality and consistency is obtained. When it comes to artificial aroma, artificial flavor production is actually a quite complex process. However, let me try to explain it very simply. The raw materials used in artificial flavor production are generally chemicals obtained from petrochemical or plant sources. Among the main components required for artificial vanilla aroma are guaiacol and vanillin. Guaiacol and vanillin are synthesized by chemical reactions. Guayacol, which is a phenolic compound, is obtained from petrochemical sources. It is first produced by the reaction of phenol and methanol. When it comes to artificial aroma, artificial flavor production is actually a quite complex process. However, let me try to explain it very simply. The raw materials used in artificial flavor production are generally chemicals obtained from petrochemical or plant sources. Among the main components required for artificial vanilla aroma are guaiacol and vanillin. Guaiacol and vanillin are synthesized by chemical reactions. Guaiacol, which is a phenolic compound, is obtained from petrochemical sources. It is first produced by the reaction of phenol and methanol. Vanillin synthesis is usually carried out by guaiacol methoxylation. Guaiacol reacts with methyl alcohol in the presence of a catalyst to synthesize vanillin. This reaction occurs by replacing the phenolic group with a methyl group. Pure guaiacol and vanillin are mixed in certain proportions to form the formulation of artificial vanilla aroma. Yes, friends, in summary, I tried to explain the aromas to you. I hope it was useful for you too. Let's know what we eat, right? Don't forget to subscribe and like for more content. Stay healthy.